Hello, now it is time to talk about the San Francisco Zoo rule. So San Francisco Zoo starts with S, F, and Z. And we call it the San Francisco Zoo rule because anytime a word ends with S, F, or Z, you double it. For example, if you get the word glass, if you hear that S at the end, you need to double it. If you hear the word jazz, you hear that Z at the end, you double it. If you hear the word cliff, if you hear that F at the end, you double it. There is no markings for um, the San Francisco Zoo double rule. You just need to remember to double it. The other markings are the same. If it's a blend, you mark the arc. If it's a value, you mark it with an S. Value mark with an X. Blend and vowel. So you mark them the same, but you just double that letter at the end. Okay, the other part of um, this lesson that we talked about was plurals. And we said, if you hear this sound like in cups, if you hear that S sound, then you just add an S. But if you hear um, the Z sound, like glasses, if you hear that Z sound, it's an ES. So cups, glasses, if it's um, flip, if you change that to flips, you add just an S. And if it's, um, let me think of an ES word. Misses, she misses the shots. That's a Z sound at the end, so you're gonna do an ES. Whenever you add plural to a word, you don't need to mark the vowel, you don't need to mark the blend, you only mark the plural at the end by underlining it. So this is saying that you're adding the plural to mean more than one at the end of it. So let's practice writing down some plural words and some of the doubles for the San Francisco Zoo rule. So the first word I want you to write down is puff. Oh, actually, sorry. The first word I want you to write down is strips. Strips. Okay, the normal strip would have a three letter S blend and the vowel marked, but because it's a plural and we say strips, you're going to write that three letter blend, the vowel and the consonant that's after, but since you hear the S sound strips, you just write the S with an underline. Okay, the next word that I want you to write down is crosses, crosses. Okay, so this word normally would have a blend, a vowel, and then because it ends with an S, the San Francisco Zoo rule, you would just double that S. But since it's a plural, it has that Z sound, but then crosses, we're going to add an ES and underline it. Okay, the next word I want you to write down is cuffs. Cuffs. He folded his cuffs on his shirt, cuffs. Okay, now this one is a double F because it ends with that F sound, but it has the S sound with the plural cuffs. So you underline that S. And the last word that you'll write down is buzz, buzz. Okay, you're gonna sound out those letters B, U, Z, Z. And this one, because it's not a plural, you are gonna mark the vowel on this one. It's Z, Z because of the San Francisco Zoo rule, and then you'll mark the vowel. Okay, so now it's time to write down the heart words on your paper. So our first heart word this week is other. Heart the O. 
now write down many, many is M-A-N-Y, heart the A, go ahead and write done, done. If I'm going too fast, pause the video, but done is spelled D-O-N-E, heart the O, and then we write down there, there, and remember there's two kinds of there, and there's a couple ways you can heart them. The first way is to heart all three letters, that's the way we've been practicing. But on the EI, it's okay if you just heart the EI one. And on the ERE, it's okay if you just heart the ERE. Okay, that is what your paper should look like. You should have four of the San Francisco Zoo or plural words written down, and then your five heart words written down. Turn in your paper to Miss Hackney, and she will give you your reading horizon sheet.